Here we go. Hey, Cham, can you hear me? Yeah, Jake, I can hear you. Okay, uh, Cham, you're joining me via a HoloLens uh, Skype session, and uh, we're here trying to troubleshoot an issue with our facility. Um, Cham, if you don't mind, I'm going to record this session so that we can have this as record. Um, yeah, is, absolutely. Okay. Oh, we should. We should. Um, so, uh, brief introduction, my name is Jake Jeffries, I am the Brilliant Factory Lab digital leader, uh, and I am in charge of the facility operations here at the site. Um, Cham contacted me earlier in the day, I'm off-site attending an online training, uh, and you know, we've been training numerous phone calls and, and text messages, and we just haven't been able to fix it. Um, so. Luckily, we just have this new HoloLens system in place, and we're going to try to utilize that so that we can work collaboratively and try to come up with a resolution. Uh, Cham has indicated that uh, you know we're we're really in a time crunch uh, from a pr production standpoint. Uh, we have about 150 different units to get out by the end of the week, and yep. our production timeline is already pushed to the max. So any further delay is going to cause problems. I've already contacted our local service vendor for the compressors, uh, and their lead time is about, I don't know, four, at least four hours before they can get out here. So we really need to try to solve this before then. Um, so Cham, can you just do me a favor and just give me a quick look around of the site so that I can see what's going on and, and, and where you're at? Absolutely, so I've got a visual alarm on one of our panels and we've got a couple of uh, warning indicators right now. I'll walk over there in a moment. We've got our uh, printer in front of us, and we've got some other infrastructure that I'm not as familiar with as you are, and I could probably use some guidance in clearing the trouble today. Okay, great. Um, I'll tell you what, let's start by walking over towards that uh, flashing light over there uh, so that we can take a look. Let me pin uh, our conversation here real quick, okay. Jake, and uh, get in on a closer look right here. Uh, is that easy for you to read? Uh, it's perfect, Jam. Uh, I'll tell you what, this is uh, our control panel for the chiller system, uh, which provides the glycol, glycol to the compressors uh, to cool them off. Uh, we definitely see an alarm there. Do me a favor, and on the lower left-hand side of the screen there, there's an overview section. Can you can you just do me a favor and, and, and touch that with your finger? Okay, I've depressed the overview. Okay. Uh, I'm seeing a pump fault. Um, can you do me a favor and take a screenshot of that? Okay. All right, so I'm going to use the hollow lens here. I'm actually going to take a screenshot right now. We do have some background noise, but uh, that's ex expected. This is a busy place. Yes, it is. All right, screenshots taken. I see a new alarm exists, and I've got a pump faulted. Okay, uh, do me a favor. Click on the alarms on the lower right-hand side, yep. And okay. alarm history there on the right. Go ahead and touch that. Okay, all right. And another screenshot, Jake? Yep, uh, if you can click the details button for that first, that should be our last active alarm. So there's a details button right there. Okay. And take a shot of that for me. All right. And Jake, uh, this is part of our, uh, I know this is part of our uh, conversation today, but I guess this will make good, good documentation as well. Uh, it's, uh, I'll be able to share this with our, with our vendors and uh, definitely help. Um, Cham, I'm going to go ahead and insert a diagram for you. Okay, I'm going to back up just a little bit. So, what you're looking at here, let me undo that, is the overall drawing. an overview of our plant and okay. what Appreciate I want you to do is go ahead and walk over to the left hand side uh, to your left mm -hmm. there, there is that's where the actual pump is so go ahead and take a walk over 
to that section. Turn to your left a little bit. Okay, and, so I'm going to take you with me. Yep. Okay, now do... I'm going to repin you over here on the far wall so we can keep talking together here. Perfect. What would you like me to look at, Jake? Uh, on your left-hand side there, there's a red unit. Uh, yep, that, that is the actual pump that's causing the alarm. Do me a favor, okay. and can you tell me if that's making any noise or if it's uh, vibrating anyway? All right, so just from a visual inspection and tactile, uh, ever so slight vibration, and it is uh, slightly warm to the touch. Okay. Uh, if it's vibrating, that probably means that it's actually running. Uh, what I think is happening is that we're having a problem with the motor starter, uh, which is over on the wall to your right just a little bit. Yep, that unit right there. Can you go ahead and walk right up to that? Jake, can you do me a big favor and just make sure that uh, you identify which one you want me to get? I see a couple different things in the room here. Oh, yep, absolutely. Uh, so we're going to be needing to check this unit out right here. Ah, okay, no, that makes perfect sense. That helps me a lot. Okay. Uh, I think we're having a problem with the motor starter. So okay. uh, when it's cycling in the auto, uh, it may be sticking and causing that fault. So why don't you go ahead and turn that dial over to the hand position. Okay. Okay, and that should clear our alarm. So why don't we walk back to our panel. And I appreciate you leaving the diagram there. I'm going to go ahead and uh, send this back to you at this point. I'm going to go ahead and close that out. Okay. And I'm back at the panel right now. Okay. Uh, go ahead and exit out of this screen. All right. Uh, exit again. You know, Jake, this is a lot easier to do visually rather than just on the phone. Oh, I'm telling you, this is perfect. Um, go ahead and acknowledge that alarm. Okay. And hit reset. Uh, acknowledged. Yep, hit reset. Alarm res okay, alarm reset. Now go back to your overview. Okay. Ah, and we are in a green condition. The pressure transmitter is 10.19 PSI. The modulating bypass valve is 73.8% now. I know you can see that. Oh, this is great, Champ. Thank you so much. Um, I mean, this is, this is unbelievable to be able to collaborate like this. Um, I'll tell you what we can do. We can return our serv equipment back to service so that we can continue our production. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and cancel that service call that I had in place with the compressor vendor um, so that we can avoid him coming out. I'm actually going to call our electrician in to see if he can't take a look at that motor starter and he will be available a lot quicker. Uh, we have a temporary fix in place, but I think we'll be able to uh, address this much quicker now. Go ahead and take a screenshot of that for me as well. Great, and I'm going to go ahead and get one more over here just for reference. Okay, I've got both of those pictures as well. Uh, Jake, uh, do you need me to do anything else at this point? Uh, I'll, I'll be in contact with you, let you know when the electrician will be on site. Um, I'm going to return back to my training um, and, you know, using this is really, uh, it's, it's I, I can't explain or quite quantify how much we've been able to save today, so thank you. Well, I appreciate the help and uh, I was a lot less worried about working on it today and uh, we got it done quickly. Perfect. Jake, thanks so much for your help. All right, buddy. Talk to you soon. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye-bye.